how to use the Snap-on Polartec Plus R134A machine. I'm going to go ahead and first verify that the car is a 134A system by reading the label. And this one clearly says it's a 134A system. I'm going to make sure I have the correct machine. So on the back label, right here tells me it's an R134A machine. I plugged it in so the power cord is wrapped up on the back. Toggle switch, we're going to go ahead and turn it on and let the machine boot up. It takes about a minute. You know the machine is booted up when the green light is on and then we have the touch screen ready to go and I have all my different menus here. On the vehicle, I'm gonna go ahead and locate my high side service port, which happens to be right here on my Subaru. Take the cap off. I'm gonna go ahead and place that on the front of the, the machine. Same thing with my low side cap. I'm gonna go ahead and take the low side cap off. Ours happens to be back here. And place that on the machine. And then on the side, attached to the machine, is my high and low side ports. We're gonna go ahead and pop these off. Bring these over to the vehicle. Let's do the high side first. So I'm gonna pull back on the collar, making sure that my valve is in the closed position all the way counterclockwise. So we're gonna attach this to service port same thing with the low side which is the blue cord there we go and then we can select a couple of different options if I do automatic I just input a bunch of info and then it does everything for me we're gonna go and do manual so I want to recycle and recover first and you'll notice that the light turns from yellow to red. And now it's telling me to open both the valves, which we're gonna go ahead and do now. So by turning it counterclockwise, you're gonna hear the flow of refrigerant, that's normal. Same thing with my low side. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit enter and let the machine do its job. During the recovery process, you're gonna notice a couple of things. First off, the pressures are gonna start dropping so after just a few minutes, my low pressure is down below 30. My high pressure is almost down to zero. It's also counting how many grams it's recovered. And then it's giving me some pressure information and also some temperature information. We want to avoid touching or pushing the machine because that's going to throw off the scale and it's going to give me a wrong reading right there. So just try to avoid touching the machine at this time. Okay, the machine has finished recovering, and it's a really good idea to take a look here at how much gas did it recover. It says 313 grams. We're gonna compare that with the sticker to see if this system was low at all. Our sticker is in kilograms. Really easy way to convert that is to take the decimal point and slide it to the right three places. So this is saying 0.37 to 0.43 or 370 to 430. So comparing to that to what we pulled out, which was 313, we were low by about 50, 57 grams, which isn't terrible, okay? But we do want to note that. So we're going to go ahead and hit enter. Light goes back to green. Next is we're going to go ahead and do a vacuum. The reason we want to put the system unto, under a vacuum is that's gonna lower the boiling point of any moisture that may be in the system to go ahead and remove that. So we're gonna go ahead and hit vacuum. It's gonna ask us how long it's gonna pre-populate, 20 minutes. We usually wanna do at least 15. So we're gonna go ahead and hit 20. We're gonna enter in 15, 15, enter, 15 minutes. It is gonna say that it's below, I believe, nope. Light goes yellow, it tells me to go ahead and open the valves, which we've already done, but if we were just putting the machine on, we would need to open them. We're gonna go ahead and hit enter. And then the machine does the work for us. After the 15 minutes is up, it actually does a one minute leak check. So it's gonna look at this pressure right here and if it sees a large leak, this number is gonna drastically change. It's been holding at about this number for about 30 seconds. And if it doesn't see a crazy number, it's gonna pass the leak check. So let's see what it ends up doing. 
end of minute is approaching. It's gonna beep at me. It does tell me to remove the machine, but since we're gonna go ahead and recharge it, we're gonna leave it on. If I was done with the car, I needed to do a repair, I could go ahead and remove the, the valves. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and just hit enter. We're gonna enter all the way out, green light. Now let's go ahead and recharge the system. So I'm gonna hit charge. It's gonna ask me how much do I want. I have a couple of different options. I can do grams, pounds, or pounds plus ounces. We're gonna go ahead and stick with grams. So on my sticker, we have kilograms. And an easy way to convert is just to slide the decimal place three times to the right to give me grams. So we want 370 to 430. I'm gonna go on the higher side. So while we're in grams, I'm gonna to touch the charge amount and we're gonna go ahead and hit 430, enter. This is asking me, do I want it to be on the high side pressure, the low side charge, or both? We're gonna go ahead and leave it on both and then we're gonna go ahead and hit enter. It's gonna tell me to open up the valves, which they are already open, but if I had just hooked up the machine, I would go ahead and open them and then we're gonna hit enter and then let the machine do its job. While the machine is charging, just like when it was recovering, we want to avoid touching it because it's gonna be very accurate and there's a scale inside. And if I accidentally hit the machine, it could throw off what it thinks it's charged. So we just wanna to try to avoid touching the machine while. So the machine finished charging. It asked me to go ahead and remove the valves, at least the high side first. I went ahead and started the system so I can go ahead and check the pressures, the low and the high side. So before we let the machine go forward, we're gonna go ahead and check the pressure. So I'm looking at the low side, how low does it go with the system engaged? This one gets down to about 20 before it, there we go. And then on the high side, I'm gonna go ahead and see how high it goes while the system is engaged. So right now it's off, compressor just engaged. We're gonna see it go up just about to 150. Now let's move on to the next step. It wants me to disconnect the high side and start the air conditioning system. So we're gonna disconnect the high side. We're gonna go ahead and open the valve by turning it counterclockwise. And then a little bit of downward pressure and I'm gonna pull it with my thumb and forefinger. I should hear a little pop, that's normal. I'm gonna go ahead and replace my cap. Now we've set it up the way the machine wants, disconnected the high side, started the AC with the low side connected. We're gonna hit enter. It's gonna equalize the pressure in the lines. Got a red light, meaning it's telling me something. I wanna go ahead and close and disconnect the low side. We're gonna go to our vehicle, to the low side. Open the valve and disconnect. And again, I wanna make sure that these lines don't interfere with the drive belts. I'm gonna go ahead and replace my low side cap. Hit enter and it's gonna go ahead and empty out any refrigerant that's in the lines. While the machine is finishing up emptying out the lines, we're gonna go ahead and put them away the correct way. So we're just gonna give them a gentle little twist. And then you go ahead and store them right here. And then for the two valves, the low side, we're gonna go ahead and attach it to the machine here. And then the high side, we're gonna go ahead and attach it right here. Let it finish up its job.